All right, what's up, guys, and welcome back to Alan Wake. Um, so here's the deal. I made like a 40, 30 minute video. It was a long one uh, earlier, and I lost everything. So I haven't played this game in about two weeks because of that, and I tried to find out if I could go back and redo it, but no, it's not salvageable, and I can't go back into the game and I can't replay that part without complete without restarting the entire game. So I just decided that we'll move on and we'll just continue the game without that part. And since it's been so long, I should have just done this earlier so I, so I could explain what happened. Um, what I'll do is I'll I'll probably leave. I'll make another video. Actually, I'll just go back and research, and I'll put a little video explaining what happened at the beginning of this. That's perfect. All right, I'll do that. So anyway, welcome back to Alan Wake. You just watched the you just watched my little intro thing telling you what happened and. I explained what happened and what you missed. So here we are fighting a big flock of birds. And, um, it's been so long, I don't remember his name. What's his name? Barry. Barry. Barry's locked inside the cabin with birds attacking him. So we have to blow them up. Ooh! That's how you not. That's how not to do it. There's a flare. Yeah, <laughs> Barry, you're so clever. <laughs> so, yeah, that sucks, but I decided not to let it bother me and just kind of go on. Open it. Grab him, grab him. Yeah. Nope. Oh, they weren't even attacking me from there. I hate you. You can die. I. Now, where are you tagging me from, huh? 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 Where's it gonna be now? Huh? Ah, oh, there! Gotcha! 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 You got me too, damn it. Gotcha! <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, this part's a little hard to commentate on because we're just shooting birds! It's like extreme duck hunt. I can't see. Ba -ba! Oh. Uh oh. I need more flare ammo. Oh, this is an issue. Could you like fuck off? Nope. You can go away. You can go away too. Haha, <laughs> bitch. Oh, they came from behind me. They flanked me. <gasps> uh, it's not flare gun, it's flares. Maybe I could just. Yeah, just stay away. Stay away. Ooh. Hey, like that. Huh? 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 Want some? Oh, yeah, the gun. Open the damn door. He's probably on the back porch. Yep, he is. <coughs> yeah, it doesn't really matter now. Thanks. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For 
me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. I know. See you soon. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the old dear diner. Good girl. Sucks. Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found the Good girl. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner? Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trail. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff in old local newspapers archives. Yeah, Barry. Yeah, weird stuff. That's great. Mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this, most of this stuff takes place around the old triple eight. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the land was the doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Okay, so I'm just going between the between the uh, mobile homes to see if I can find any thermoses that I missed on my first playthrough or didn't appear on my first playthrough. Because I'm playing on... Every time I play a game, I play it on easy, then I play it on hard. This one just I'm playing on medium just so we can get through it without me having to redo the same checkpoint every single time. Anything over here? It's gotta be a thermos over here somewhere. It's like, like the perfect place to have one. That's a boat. Yeah, yeah how about that? It's there in the morning, as if 
that had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Did you not question any of the black goop all over it? I knew there'd be a thermos. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Alright, let's go talk to Creepy Rose. Because she's like possessed and black eyed now. Yo. Really wish this guy would walk faster. I mean, I get it. He's crippled, but it's kind of annoying. And he should just shave his head bald. At what point do you just give up and shave your entire head? Like, what's what? I never understood the whole comb over thing. It looks terrible. Absolutely terrible. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratch and hag. Comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, now, let me just get to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. So, this episode, I have a feeling, is going to be a little slow. It's going to be like a lot of exposition, figuring out what's going on. And it's taking forever for this guy to get to the freaking house. Just go! I under yeah, I, I can pretty much figure out where which one's her house by this point. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want? Yeah, I do. Just Fuck off. To her, pal. Thank you, Barry. This guy's being a little nosy prick. What you waiting for? Leave. Yeah, I said it. Leave. Okay, you're going to be that way. Fine. Fuck you. See ya. You're just going to wait out there, huh? Oh, she's there. Welcome to... To... Oh, dear. Mr. Wake. Whoa. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Can you not tell something's off, dude? Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry... She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? Wh oh, no. The fan's gone crazy. It's gonna be misery all over again. that you like fuck off that would be nice just saying <laughs> that's freaky I can feel 
feel it. Wow, she built a shrine of me. What's with the little baby like carousel thing? That's a little weird. Of course, this chick's friggin' psychotic. But she has a shrine of me. That's pretty weird. That looks like a picture of an actor. The one on the far left. I don't know. I can I see his face, but I can't think of his name. But it looks like a real person. Same with the guy on the top left. The guy on the top left looks a bit like Johnny Depp. Eh, oh well. Moving on. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Uh, Rose? Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. What you doing there? All right. Deserve more money. So handsome. <laughs> oh, you're so funny, Barry. You're hilarious. My gun and flashlight. Oh, there's manuscript gone. page. I'd have to I'll find a that. way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. What was that? Just okay. I don't have a weapon at the moment, so this is a little bit of an issue. I also don't have a flashlight. That is a gigantic issue. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this radio because that's an achievement that I want to get. Hmm. Turn that on. <sighs> Alright. So there's that dude. It doesn't look like he's part of the darkness yet. Oh, you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI! Get him up, Hemingway! You're under arrest! You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face! Stay right where you are, Slane! That would never happen. They, they would never shoot at him for running away. That would never happen. They would be fired instantly. What are you? I'm standing right here, you goddamn exactly. maniac! They could have shot and killed that poor innocent man who called the cops on me. How dare they! How dare they? I needed to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Okay, so this has changed into a turn of events. I am not being chased by Taken. I am being chased by the FBI. By the feds. I'm going for 18 minutes. I have like 10 minutes left. Actually, I got more like 20 minutes left. Eh, 15. At twelve. Let's go underneath here. There he is. There he goes. Oh no, we lost him. Oh, there's a spotlight. I'm just gonna take a little detour through the woods, right here. How did they not see me? Oh, hey ho, hey. Not cool, bruh. Oh, we got red. Oh, damn. Um, excuse me. But what exactly did I do to deserve being shot at? Actually shot. I didn't murder anyone. I didn't kidnap anyone. I am an innocent man. You have not read me my Miranda rights. You have no authority to do such things. There's a piece of the manuscript. Nah, you can stop looking. Actually, I'd rather have them chasing me than the Taken. I keep calling them Taken than the Darkness people, which I think I'm about to run into, considering all the fog and the wind. Not looking forward to it.
Well, that was just uncalled for. Oh, it's a cop car. I'm gonna see what's down here. Manuscript page. Hells yeah! Eh, it was kind of worth it. All right, let's go towards the death and destruction ahead, shall we? <laughs> Escape the popo. Made to light sauce. Drop hazard. You don't say. Oh, there's another player. I see flashlights. Surge the area. Stay sharp. <laughs> this way, over here. Hey, who's there? I don't know. Who's there? Oh no! Shoot it! Shoot! And they're dead. They are all dead. Ah! It's not stopping! Help me! Help me! Help me! Hey, it's the people who died. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. That makes no logical sense. Just gonna point that out there. Those cops didn't stand a chance. You know why? No, why is that? I'm a writer. There's nothing they can do against a writer. Now they have a helicopter. That's great. That's just freaking fantastic. Uh oh. There's birds. Oh, they're going after the helicopter. Get him, boys. Oh, it's gonna crash. Ooh, can I get one of the... Yeah, use. I want to see the explosion. Oh! Kaboom! There's the gas station. Anything over there? <gasps> a thermos! I found a thermos! If only I can figure out how to get to it. Huh. That would be useful. Alright, well, I know there's a thermos over there. Just have to figure out how to get to it. Ooh, use that. Eh, I'm bored. Leaving. Uh, Ooh, what's over here? I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Yeah, it's definitely the radio station. I guess we are gonna go on the midnight talk show. Hey, wait a second. This wasn't open before. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Main seemed like a distance. Alright, so up there is where the thermos is. The Just need to get to it. Uh oh. Defense is alive. Here we go again. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to they stop. They just take care of that. Actually, I'm going to grab this light. first. I need to do something with this. I do. Gadunk. 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 
wires a little chewed through, but it'll work, I guess. And now we just get on here and aim. Boost! Gutto. The gate's gone. Ow. That was foolish. I would like to have a weapon at some point. Or a flashlight. It's dark, it's nighttime outside right now, and I need some light to defend myself from the darkness. Because you can't expect me to run away from it, because he's kind of a slow motherfucker right here. I mean, he's not very fast, he's a little fat. <gasps> flashlight! Gotta get my flashlight. Kill this son of a little bitch. Alright. Moving forward. Flashbang, 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 flashbang. An ideal weapon for my situation. Got flashbangs. Got my mofo flashbangs. Nailed it. Well, this just informs me that there's going to be taken ahead. Hey, called it. Skaboom! Run, 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 have another flashbang, son. Son! Here we go. That's taken care of. Moving onward. Hey, Alan, could you quit being a fat bastard and run? That would be great. Just saying. Just saying. Take that flashbang. I'll take that flashbang. Take that flashbang. Take that flashbang. Uh -huh. Turn on the radio like a bouse. Oh, batteries. I'll take batteries. There sure is, buddy. There's a big ruckus. Big ol' ruckus. Hey, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Flashbang. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Hey! Hey, now! Flashbang. <laughs> I love doing that. Flashbang is like the best thing. Wait. Wait. Is that a message or is it just... Oh, it's a plant. Sadness. I thought I was going to be one of those yellow arrows. Kind of wish it was a yellow arrow. I've been going for 28 minutes. I'm going to reach... Mm, i got to find a good spot to end it, then I'll end it. This is a really good spot. I have low health. This is not good at all. Uh -oh. Just got to keep running. Oh! Ho <laughs> ho! Flashbang. Don't you dare do that. That's not not it's not cool, bruh. It's not cool, bruh. Check it! There's a mine. I'm going. I'm going in it. I'm going in the mine. Yep, that's where I'm supposed to go. So I'm gonna go here. <gasps> There's a generator. Press no one in the dark. Boogum cha da cha da 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 That's gonna be my new sound effect. cha da 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 Oh, flares! Sweet! Ooh, get health back. That's what I'm talking about. Supposed to be going this way. Let's go towards the flashing lights. Now, now, now. Don't do that. <laughs> Chumps. Anything over here for me to steal or pillage? No? Oh, there is! Thank you for the flashbangs. Hey! Not cool. You're far enough away, I really don't care. So I'll see you later, buddy. Oh! Almost. Not quite. Hey, don't even try. Ow, you yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. You jerk. Why you gotta be like that, huh? What did I do to you? Besides kill your buddies and your family. You're gonna get it too. Yeah, fuck you. I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna take a chance. 
you're just gonna you're just gonna die. I'm gonna go through here. I made it to the radio station. I hope Maine. I think I'm pretty safe here. It's gonna Oh there is the guy. Just gonna scope out the place. See if there's anything of value. I don't see anything, so I'm just gonna go ahead and trigger this cutscene. After the cutscene, I'll end the video. I had no idea how to get to the coal mine. Maine would know. And I had a feeling I wouldn't get a chance to ask anyone else anytime soon. It's gonna check out the doors. Oh, thanks for announcing it. It's not like I'm on the run from the friggin' cops or anything. Oh, I'm bringing the chair with me. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. 